What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on this extremely disgusting Lexus. There is a ton of mold, glass, food, stains, trash, and it even looks like there's been some rats living in the trunk of this vehicle because when I opened it, the smell was absolutely disgusting. As you guys know here at Mad Detailing, we're going to make this vehicle look absolutely brand new again. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this disaster detail. Starting off this detail, the first thing I need to do is get all the trash, anything that is too big to be sucked up by the vacuum, and that will get it ready for the extraction later on in the video. So I know you guys are probably wondering why I didn't do the exterior of this vehicle and that's because the owner of this vehicle actually owns the 240 that we did a couple videos back to set the same house and um, he recently picked up this vehicle from the junkyard hence on how disgusting this vehicle really is and he's going to do a full restoration on the car and the complete outside and honestly we just didn't have enough time we were only there for the weekend so after the 240 we decided to do the, just the interior of this vehicle so if you guys are wondering that is why and I believe the reason why all the glass and all the mold is inside this vehicle is because they couldn't find the keys so they smashed out the back glass and I think they said it took only three months for that car to get as moldy as it did so that's absolutely crazy but that is definitely shows you what kind of weather we have here in Florida. Thank you. 
So moving on to cleaning the seats, I'm using our Extreme APC as a cleaner, followed by our Mad Detailing 100% Boris Hair Brushes, and I'm also using our Steamer to make sure I kill off any mold and get the surface 100% clean before using our Mad Detailing Leather Conditioner. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Mr. Thomas's third period class. He reached out to me on Instagram and said that you guys watch my videos every single Thursday in class. And that is super awesome. It honestly means so much that I'm able to impact so many lives around the world. And I appreciate you guys and I appreciate every single one of you that stay tuned every Thursday to watch my videos. And if there's any advice I could give you guys, it is to follow your dreams and do what you love. And I promise you will not regret it. I honestly didn't think that I would be at where I am today, but with a ton of hard work and dedication, anything is possible, take it from me. I was just like each and every one of you sitting in school, wondering what I'm gonna do with my life, but just take it slow, find what you love, find what you're good at, and don't lose sight of your dream. But anyways, I appreciate everybody's support, and also be good to your teacher. They work extremely hard on making sure you guys get the education that you do, so make sure you guys give him some love and support as well. So moving on to these back seats, the recent owner before the guy that bought it, he did have these seats resprayed and re-dyed because I could just tell by cleaning them that it was coming off kind of chunky 
and it wasn't the original dye because if the original dye was coming off it would just be straight black underneath it so it definitely has has been resprayed so what i'm doing now is i'm cleaning them to the best of my abilities and then i will go to the store and get some automotive leather dye and i'll actually respray these seats to the factory color this is not something that i would normally do but i honestly had no choice and the leather dye is made for leather only and it doesn't make it super hard it actually gives it a nice finish just like factory so you guys will see after i clean these seats i do use a leather dye to get them as clean as possible and make them look brand new
So one thing that we did not bring with us when we went to detail these vehicles was our air compressor. And I can honestly say how much I missed our air compressor because having it to blow out all the cracks and get all the nastiness that is just stuck in places that the microfiber can't get to just makes life a lot easier. And I actually believe that it makes the panels and the interior of the vehicle a lot cleaner. So that's why I always recommend investing into an air compressor when doing detailing because it makes your life a lot easier and you will be surprised on how clean the vehicle actually gets. So moving on to the carpet extraction, we're using our Extreme APC as a cleaner, fired by a Milwaukee drill with a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, we're using our Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. I honestly hate tan carpet for some reason. If you have tan carpet and it gets any type of red stain, black stain, pretty much any stain that has been sitting for a long time, you will not be able to get that stain out no matter what you do. You could pull the carpet out, pressure wash it. You can steam clean it, extract it for three days straight and that stain will still be there. But it's weird because I have yet to be able to not get a stain out of cloth seats. No matter what color they are, they could be white, black, gray, tan, orange, pink, yellow, you get the point. But for some reason, you can get any type of stain out of cloth seats, but when it comes to tan carpet, the stains just will not come out. I'm not sure if it's the material or what it is, but it honestly sucks because I hate doing tan carpet and not being able to get the stain out. The only thing you can do is re the carpet.